I'm Amanda Isaac. I'm Associate Curator here at Mount Vernon, and we are in the textile storage area looking today at one of the most important objects in our collection that relates to Martha Washington in her role as the First Lady. She tends to get overshadowed by her husband, uh, President Washington, but she very much used her own role as the First Lady, as the first First Lady, to actively define who we are as an American people. And one of the most dramatic ways that she did that was in what she wore, in the fashion statements that she made. Now what we're looking at may not look like much, uh, but when you get closer, you see pieces of what are in fact very unique, distinctive, handmade silk lace that was made here in America over 200 years ago. This lace was made in Ipswich, Massachusetts, and Ipswich was so special because it was the first town to successfully establish a lace making business here in the US. They were the first to offer an alternative to the luxury laces that were being imported from Europe, from Belgium and from France. So when Martha Washington wears these as a shawl uh, during the presidency, she is making a very clear political statement. You would know immediately on seeing this that these were American made laces, a very different construction than what you would see in European. And she was actively supporting American manufacturers, defining the Buy American campaign, uh, encouraging our economic independence at that time. Now I said we had pieces of Mrs. Washington's shawl, pieces of this Ipswich lace. What we're actually looking at today uh, is a very complex object that's had a long life, uh, that's been constructed from those original pieces. From what we can tell, what happened was it started out as Mrs. Washington's shawl. It then got passed down to another generation and they decided to update it uh, for the fashions of the time. So they added some machine made lace uh, throughout the center and then transferred the Ipswich lace to the edges. But then time passes, it gets passed down again. Perhaps something happens to it, it gets ripped uh, or it just begins to fall apart. And then a later generation knowing how important Mrs. Washington was, wanting to preserve this incredible relic, uh, decides to put it on this heavy cotton backing. And it's at that point uh, that it, it gets sold and then purchased and donated to the Mount Vernon Ladies Association in 1917. That was over a century ago, of course, as we look back on it. And this year, we're hoping to do more research and to use modern conservation techniques to care for it. We're hoping that we'll be able to find out what the original shawl that Martha Washington owned looked like, uh, and also to find out who refashioned it and why they might have done so.